Hello everyone, welcome back again to the slope stability analysis using Plaxis uh, 2D. Uh, this is tutorial number four and in this uh, lecture we will uh, shortly uh, talk about the hardening soil uh, model, hardening soil constructive models in uh, Plaxis uh, 2D. So in uh, this lecture, uh, we will understand uh, what is the hardening soil model and the importance of hardening soil model and also the assumptions and parameters of uh, this constructive model in uh, Plaxis uh, 2D. So uh, similar as a uh, Mohr column model, uh, there are some basic parameters like uh, unit weight, internal friction angle, uh, cohesion, the latency angle, etc. But uh, the most important uh, parameters in the hardening soil model is the modulus of elasticity. While in a Mohr column model, uh, we uh, talked uh, that uh, it only needs uh, one modulus of elasticity and it is uh, constant along uh, the uh, calculation or analysis but in uh, but actually this is not true because uh, soil is a nonlinear material and stress uh, dependency because the modulus of elasticity is uh, changed when the stress level is changed so uh, that's why this uh, model a hardening soil model is uh, more advanced and more accurate than uh, Mohr column and it needs uh, three modulus of elasticity. If you remember, we uh, also have this uh, uh, stress strain relationship in a previous lecture. Uh, this is uh, this figure shows the relationship between uh, stress and uh, strength, uh, stress and strain uh, for a standard uh, drain triaxial test. We can see uh, if we uh, draw a tangent line at uh, the initial uh, curve, uh, it's called uh, E sub i or uh, E sub 0, which is an initial uh, modulus of elasticity of the, this curve. Also, we have E sub uh, 50. It means the modulus of elasticity at 50 percentage of a deviatric uh, stress. Also, we have unloading, uh, reloading, uh, modulus of elasticity uh, also uh, so in a hardening soil model we will need uh, e sub uh, 50 and also unloading and reloading elasticity also we have another uh, laboratory test which is called uh, consolidation test or audiometer test and we will also need the elasticity of this test for uh, the hardening soil model which is called e sub oed which is audiometer uh, stiffness so uh, these uh, two e sub 50 and e unloading and reloading is taken from the drain triaxial test and uh, e audiometer is uh, taken from the audiometer test or consolidation test however there are some uh, correlations which can be used to uh, find uh, e sub uh, uh, u and r e unloading reloading and e audiometer so the advantages of uh, this hardening uh, soil model is uh, it is uh, it models stress dependency which is uh, more elastic for settlement and deformation and change of elasticity with the stress uh, level uh, also it is uh, better for medium to stiff uh, soil uh, there are also some disadvantages because uh, these uh, advanced conservative models needs uh, more parameters than Mohr column model that's why we will need some uh, laboratory tests etc and this model can be used for embankment excavation uh, slopes in sands or uh, clay so uh, regarding the parameters of the hardening soil model as i mentioned before the basic parameters such as uh, internal friction angle cohesion the latency angle uh, tension cut off are similar to are similar to the Mohr column model. However, we have uh, three uh, modulus of elasticity, as I uh, mentioned uh, in here. 
we have a second uh, models of elasticity, audio meter, and uh, reloading and unloading elasticity. Also, we have another parameters which is called uh, power for stress level dependency of stiffness. We will talk about uh, this uh, parameter in next uh, slide. Uh, also, uh, we have some advanced parameters. Uh, for example, uh, uh, poison's ratio for unloading reloading. Actually, this is uh, set to 0 0.2 as a default in Plax's uh, 2D. And also, we have uh, a reference stress for uh, stiffness. When we give uh, Plax's uh, this uh, stiffness, uh, it uh, automatically uh, set it uh, to according to uh, uh, stress, uh, reference stress, which is 100 kN per uh, meter uh, square. So in the analysis, uh, these uh, modulus of elasticity are changed according to the stress uh, level. Also for a uh, case sub uh, 0 uh, or a uh, case sub 0 in uh, C, which is called uh, uh, normal, uh, this is a uh, uh, a coefficient of earth uh, pressure for a uh, normal uh, consolidation and uh, uh, by default uh, this equation is used in plexus which is equal 1 minus sine uh, phi which is uh, phi which is internal friction angle also we have another uh, parameter which is called uh, r sub f which is a failure ratio the failure ratio is uh, by default set to 0 0.9 so uh, the it's equal q sub f di divided by q, q sub uh, a which is uh, this value uh, divetic uh, stress at uh, asymptote asymptote divetic stress also uh, stress at uh, failure uh, also, we have tensile uh, strains. Uh, it is uh, by default set to zero. And uh, similar to the Mohr column, we have sub uh, C sub I N uh, C, which is uh, increase in uh, cohesion uh, with the depth. So uh, actually, when 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 we don't have uh, these uh, three parameters, for example, if we only have uh, E sub uh, fifty, uh, as in the Mohr column model, we can estimate uh, the other parameters or the other elasticities by using these correlations, which is available in Plax's uh, material model. So, uh, audiometer elasticity is approximately equal uh, uh, elasticity at uh, 50 percentage divetic stress. Uh, also, uh, unloading reloading elasticity approximately equal uh, uh, three times uh, E sub uh, 50. So, we can use uh, this correlation in uh, plexus when we uh, only have one uh, modulus of elasticity, which is E sub uh, 50. So as I mentioned before, all uh, this uh, stiffness refer to a uh, refer to a reference stress usually set to 100 kilopascal in uh, Plax's uh, 2D. So uh, regarding uh, the M parameter, which is called uh, the power, this parameter in hardening soil model represents the stress dependency of uh, stiffness, and it is important for capturing. Uh, how the soil uh, stiffness changes with the confining uh, stress. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is M in uh, these uh, equations, uh, and uh, according to the according to the reference stress and uh, the power, so the modulus of elasticity is changed with the confining uh, stress. So uh, the uh, the M for clay we can use uh, equal to one due to a strong uh, stress dependence uh, or find a grain structure, and uh, also we can uh, use the for uh, for uh, sand we can use zero point five because uh, of because sand is uh, not uh, highly stress dependent like uh, clay. So, uh, as I mentioned before, also the poison ratio is uh, 0 0.2 by default, and uh, the case of uh, 0 and C, which is uh, independent of poison ratio, unlike the Mohr column model, and the uh, 
uh, real usually use uh, implexes usually it calculates automatically based on uh, this equation so as i mentioned uh, in previous lecture the hardening soil model also can be uh, found uh, in detail in the plexus material model so you can in section uh, six you can see the hardening soil model and you can see all details and uh, equations and parameters for the hardening soil model in this uh, material also in uh, plexus when we define a material we click on show material and we click on new so instead of mohr column we select the hardening soil model and in mechanical properties you can see all of these parameters for example if i said e sub uh, 50 to 10 uh, thousand we can see these uh, two other uh, elasticity are calculated automatically based on uh, this uh, correlation also we have uh, the power in here and uh, this one is uh, by default as i mentioned uh, before it's 100 kilopascal and also we have effective cohesion friction angle dilatancy angle and uh, increase in cohesion if we uh, if we have a very deep soil we can use also these parameters and uh, regarding the tension cutoff as i mentioned before uh, the soil cannot withstand the tensile uh, stress that's why it's important to set as uh, a zero so uh, this was uh, for this lecture i hope it was clear and useful uh, see you in the next tutorial